Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. Ten persons kidnapped at a farm in Akure North local government area of Ondo State have finally regained freedom in the early hours of Wednesday. The spokesperson of Ondo State Police Command DSP Fumilayo Odunlami confirmed this newsman in Akure. A family member of one of the abductees said that a few hours after the abduction, the kidnappers contacted the family demanding a sum of 100 million naira ransom, which they later reduced to 10 million naira after much negotiation. An Oshogo Federal High Court on Wednesday declined jurisdiction in the suit filed by the 2,517 aggrieved members of the All Progressives Congress against the last World Congress of the party in Oshun State. Justice Nathaniel Ayo Emanuel in the ruling, which lasted for about 1 hour 30 minutes, held that issues relating to Congresses remain a domestic affair of political parties. President Mohamed Buhari has written to the Senate to seek confirmation for the appointment of four commissioners for Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission NERC. Those nominated to be appointed as NERC commissioners are Yusuf Ali for North Central Region, Chidi Ike for Southeast, Nathan Shetty for Northeast, and Dafe Akpene for South South Region. President Buhari also sought confirmation for the appointment of executive directors of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority and the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation. France on Wednesday loosened several of the COVID-19 restrictions imposed to curb the latest surge. A second stage of easing is set for February 16, when nightclubs can be reopened after being shut in December and standing areas will again be allowed at concerts, sporting events and bars. According to government officials, President Emmanuel Macron is betting that widespread vaccinations will curb the pandemic with proof of inoculation now required for the health pass used to access places from bars and restaurants to cinemas and long-distance public transport. In business, Nigeria missed its crude oil output target for January 2022, pumping 1.46 million barrels per day against the target of 1.683 million barrels per day, as approved by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Officials of the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources and the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited said the country's continued inability to meet its output target has caused the repeated plunge in oil earnings leading to the monthly drop in the NNPC's remittances to the Federation account. They, however, attributed Nigeria's prolonged inability to meet its OPEC production quarter to the spate of oil pipeline vandalism, delay in the full implementation of the Petroleum Industry Act, among others. Queen Elizabeth II on su Sunday becomes the first British monarch to reign for 70 years, heralding the start of her Platinum Jubilee year Despite her retreat from public view, it will be the first time that any British monarch has celebrated a platinum jubilee. In celebration, four days of festivities are planned for early June, including a, mil including a military parade and a music concert, street parties, a mass attendance picnic and a platinum pudding competition. The Australian government has also announced a range of national and community events that will be held throughout Australia to mark the Queen's 70 years on the throne. In sports, Barcelona have completed the signing of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Arsenal after the forward left the club by mutual consent on Tuesday evening. The 32-year-old has signed a contract until June 2025 with the option to terminate in June 2023 and has a buyout clause of 100 million euros. Barcelona head coach Xavi is understood to have identified Aubameyang as his primary target to strengthen at the top of the pitch this month as it plans for the player to slot into the team in the number nine position. That is on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I'm Simi Soladigun.